we need to be able to expand powers of binomials. Now, these are binomials because I have two terms added together, and we need to be able to expand um, the, these binomials to the power of 3 or to the power of 4 or other, or other higher powers as well. Now, these actually follow a certain pattern, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, this one, we can see that we can easily multiply it all out and simplify it, but the easier way is by using the binomial theorem. Now, before I do that, I'm going to show you the Pascal's triangle, which is another way we can do them. So, the Pascal's triangle looks like this. If I have one, and then another one, and another one. Now, to find um, this value here, I add these two. So, one add one is two, and on the side, I'm going to have a one. Okay? So now, to find this value, I will do 1 add 2, and that will come here. 2 add 1, that will come here, and the 1s will go to the side. So I will have 1, 3, 3, and 1. And I'll do one more. So here, I'm going to have 1 add 3, which is 4. Um, 3 add 3 is 6, which will go here. 3 add 1 is 4, and 1 there, and 1 there. So I will have 1, 4... 6, 4, 1. Now, just quickly, this would be the zeroth row, and this is the first row. This is the second row, the third row, and the fourth row. Okay? So it looks like this is the fifth row, but because we counted the first one as a zeroth row, this is actually the fourth row. Okay? So to expand this first one, 1 plus x to the power of 3, I multiply all the coefficients by these values here. So this will be four terms, and I multiply all the coefficients by these. To expand 1 plus x to the power of 4, I expand, uh, I, I, in the expansion I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, and I, exp uh, and I multiply all of the coefficients by these values here. So I'll show, I'll show you that now. So we have 1 plus, 1 plus x to the power of 3. So this would be, so the first value, I will take the 1, and the 1 will be there. So remember, this is the third row, so third row is this one. Okay, so that was 0, this is first, second, and third row. So I will, I will have this 1, and I'll multiply it to this 1. So I will just have 1. In the next term, this time I'm going to have a value of x. So it'll be 1, and then it'll be an x, and this I'm going to multiply by 3. So I'm going to have 3x. Next, I'm going to have an x squared term here, and the x squared term I will multiply by the 3. So I will have plus 3x squared. And finally, I will have an x cubed term, and I will multiply that by 1. So I will have plus x cubed. Okay, so this is a very basic, um, s specific example of using the binomial um, expansion. And this is our expansion. Notice how we didn't have to multiply it out and work it out. This will work for us. I'll show you with this one as well. So for that one, we will have 1 plus x to the power of 4. Okay, first value would be 1. The next value, the x term, will be multiplied by 4. So I will have plus 4x. The, the next term, which is the x squared term, will be multiplied by the 6. So it will be plus 6x squared. The next term, which is going to be um, the x cubed term, is going to be multiplied by 4. So plus 4x cubed. And the final term, x to the power of 4, will be multiplied by 1, so it's going to be plus x to the power of 4. So notice how we didn't have to expand it all. We know that the Pascal's triangle helps us um, guess, uh, get the coefficients of these um, terms, and that's how, we, that's how we expanded these. So now I will show you what happens to a general binomial when you use the Pascal's triangle for the power of 3 and power of 4. So the general binomial I have, I've just represented the two terms with an A and a B. So if I have um, 
a plus b to the power of 3. So this one I'm going to use this row here because this is my third row. Um, the first value I will have would be a to the power of 3 and b to the power of 0 and this will be multiplied by 1. Okay, So I have the 1 times a to the power of 3 and b to the power of 0. I'm going to keep doing this and it's going to get uh, it's going to make more sense as we go along. So next term I'm going to have is going to have a a squared and it's going to have a b to the 1. And that's going to be multiplied by a 3. So I'm going to have 3 times a squared b to the 1. Okay? Next term you could probably guess what it's going to be. Um, the power of a is going to reduce by 1, the power of b is going to uh, increase by 1. And the coefficient will be multiplied by 3. So I have plus 3 times a to the 1 and b squared. And then we have one more term left. And that would be a to the power of 0 and b to the power of 3. And the coefficient will be multiplied by 1. So it would be plus 1 times a to the power of 0 and b to the power of 3. Now, we know when we... Uh, raise anything to the power of 0, that just becomes 1. So 1 times anything, well, that, that's just going to give me whatever's left. So again, same thing here. So if I was to simplify this, if I simplify that, I will get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Okay, so these will be my four terms in the expansion of a plus b, a general binomial raised to the power of 3. I'll do um, a plus b to the power of 4 now. So if I have a plus b to the power of 4, so I'm going to use this line. I need to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different terms. Uh, first one is going to be a to the power of 4, b to the power of 0. And that That's multiplied by 1. So 1 times a to the 4, b to the 0. Next one, uh, next coefficient would be 4, so 4 times, 4 times a to the 3, b to the 1, plus next one, uh, next number I need to use is 6, so 6 times a squared, b squared, plus next one is 4, okay, so 4 times, 4, sorry, 4 times a to the 1, b to the 3, and then the last one, I use 1 times a to the 0, b to the 4. Okay, so remember we can simplify all the ones with um, 1s and b, uh, anything raised to the power of 0. So this then becomes a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4a b cubed plus b to the power of 4. So notice how it didn't take us long to um, expand the product, or expand the power of the general binomial a plus b and this is what we get. Okay, I just want to show you a specific example um, of an expansion of a binomial where um, I'm not using 1 here. So you can see the value of a is now 2 and the value of b is x and I'm raising it to the power of 4. So I have the expansion here in general terms. All I have to do is replace the a's with 2. So all the a's will be replaced by a 2 and I'm going to replace all the b's with an x. Okay. I just, uh, the reason why I'm doing that is so that you see that 4 is not always the coefficient of the term here. Okay? And it might not be 6 because you're going to be multiplying it to a number sometimes that's not 1. And in this case it's 2. So if I just replace, um, if I just replace all the a's with a 2 and b's with an x, this is what I will get. So I'll have 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 3 times x plus 6 times 2 squared times x squared plus 4 times 2 times x cubed and plus 
x to the power of 4. So I just substituted the a's with a 2 and I substituted the b's with an x. Okay. Um, let's simplify this. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So I would have 16 add um, 4 times 2 cubed is 8. So 4 times 8 is 32. So I would have 32x plus um, 6 times 2 squared is 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. So this would be 24 x squared plus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 x cubed plus x to the power of 4. Okay, so what we've seen here is uh, a more specific example of a binomial raised to the power of 4, and we used this expansion, the general expansion, and we substituted our values for a and b, and we've got these values. So th this expansion is just that. We don't need to multiply it all out. When we know how to expand the powers of binomials, it becomes very easy for us. So this is why it's very useful to learn. Here are some questions for you to practice. So for question one, um, all of these four questions, you need to use Pascal's triangle to expand these um, powers of binomials. And for question two, find the x to the power of four term. Okay, so just find this term. What is the coefficient that goes with this term? 